The president says he's making six moves to address gun violence. Our Emily Bloom has been covering the story today and brings us up to date. Yes, uh, we are learning that President Biden is in the Rose Garden today called gun violence in the U.S. an epidemic and an international embarrassment. And he called on Congress to do more than pray. Our flag was still flying at half staff for the victims of the horrific murder of eight when 10 more lives were taken in a mass murder in Colorado. Between those two incidents, less than one week apart, there were more than 850 additional shootings. Joined by survivors of gun violence and those who have lost loved ones, the president announcing new executive actions. He wants the Department of Justice to regulate so-called ghost guns. Kits can be purchased online and turned into a fully functioning gun without a serial number and limit stabilizing braces used in the shooting in Boulder, Colorado to turn a pistol into a short-barreled rifle. The president admitting these are far from sweeping measures. As a candidate, he called for a ban on assault weapons and new laws to hold gun manufacturers accountable he's calling on Congress to do more. They've offered plenty of thoughts and prayers, members of Congress, but they've passed not a single new federal law to reduce gun violence. Enough prayers. Time for some action. The Democratic-controlled House last month passed several bills expanding background checks, but those have stalled in the Senate. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham this week leaving open the possibility of compromise. I'm willing to have a conversation with my Democratic colleagues about how we can uh, make sure that people who are a danger to themselves or others, that we deal with that issue in terms of, of having a gun. The president today also named David Chipman to lead the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Chipman used to be an agent with the ATF and lately has worked as an advocate for gun safety reforms. Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.